being here with Chad Williams, coach of the Liberty Raiders. Uh, now five and two on the year, coach. Uh, talk about your game today. You, you got started quick against Richwood and kind of had your way with the 9650. Yeah, I mean, we, we were just trying to figure out, you know, where we were at, you know, what to do defensively to make it work. Uh, we had to do some adjustments just because uh, we got two. Zach Bowman's down with an injury. Devin Price is down with an injury. Uh, waiting for those guys to be back, hopefully in the next month or so. Uh, so we had to do some adjustments on our offense. But once we figured everything out, we were we were pretty good after that. I think if you get double figure scoring from Cantley and Sims, and you count on them when you need them, yeah, like they did tonight, that'll be a big thing for you moving forward. A hundred percent. I mean, that's we've always wanted more uh, spread out offense just because we don't want him to be able to key on Jalen or Ethan. So with what we got from those guys tonight, we'll, we should be fine if we can just keep that consistent. I know you want to play good defense, but I don't think anybody extends as far as Grant Russell was shooting tonight. I mean, anybody, you, you must have been shaking your head early in the game, man. If he's going to hit 35 footers like he was tonight for Richwood. Yeah, I mean, the first one you're like, ah, okay. And then the second one come and I'm like, guys, you know, we got to get out there because you know we can't we can't have somebody to get hot, and uh, so we we put a little bit more pressure out there. But I mean, when somebody's shooting that deep, there's not a whole lot you can do. Jalen didn't play a lot of minutes tonight. You you were able to rest him in spurts, but he still had 28 and 10. I mean, yeah. it was really becoming a force for you inside and outside. He is. Uh, him and Ethan are both uh, fighting off the cold, so they weren't 100%. So I wanted to get a rest, you know, tonight so we could have them, uh, fresh legs for Thursday. But yeah, when you score 27 points in the amount of time he played, that, that's that's good points for anybody. Um, Ethan's been really strong for you at point guard this year too. I mean, he doesn't always lead you in scoring, but he seems to always have find a way to a double figure game and, and get people where they need to be. I mean, a real plus, and you know, it's. His cousin, I guess, AJ, never really got to have a full career. He's really morphed into a real good player and yeah. uh, has been able to stay, you know, kind of out of harm's way for each other. Yeah. I just wish he would find, you know, if he would find his shot to go with the, his court vision that he has, he, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Right now, he's just he's trying to get everybody else involved, and his, his shot is, is not there right now. So hopefully that will come around and yeah, he'll but, be a more complete player. About a quarter way through the season now, are you where you thought you'd be? You're a little behind, a little bit ahead? Uh, probably a little ahead. I think that they bought in for the defensive side of it a little quicker than I thought they would. Uh, we still have some lapses in our defense, but overall, I mean, we're, we're getting better every game. Yeah, it's, I think it's a third of the way, actually, right now. Yeah. So not trying to wish too much of the season away. Um, to, next up for you, what, what's next for you guys? Uh, just try to get everybody healthy and, and improve our defense. If we can do that, you know, I feel like that, you know, we can play with anybody. You know, our two losses to, is to Oak Hill and Sissonville. Uh, I definitely think we could we could win those two games if we played a little bit different and improved. So hopefully we'll improve and face Oak Hill later in the year and, and make it a better game. Chad, appreciate your time. Right. Thanks, Thanks, sir. sir.